Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Monday. How's everyone doing tonight? Hopefully everyone is having a fantastic Monday. I know I am. It's been a great day. Was looking forward to this all day. My time with you guys. Hopefully the YouTube servers are going to be okay tonight. It looks really promising actually. I don't think we're having the latency issues we had before, but we'll we'll see here momentarily. Just going to kill off a couple of things here before I get the phantom windows going. Let me know how the audio and the video is coming across guys. Hopefully we're two thumbs up and ready to rock tonight. Tons of stuff to cover tonight. I don't even know where to start guys. There is a pile. As usual uh, it's going to be a little off the cuff. Definitely have some things prepared to We'll see where it takes us. Ah, perfect. Thank you, Glitch. We've got 5x5. Five five. So, we have a bunch of people in the chat. Cheers, guys. Glad to see you all. I'm just going to have a quick look. Who all have we got here? We, we had Gregor. I don't know whether he's still here. Marco was here. Glitch is here. Harry is here. Zach is here. Hey, guys. David Watts. Hey, David. Ken is here. And I think we're in good shape. I think we're pretty much caught up. We'll go ahead and get things started. I'll see. <laughs> David says I look better. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I am feeling a lot better, David. I still haven't kicked that darn cold completely, but I feel way better than I did. I have. I, I do pretty well at uh, toughing through things, but uh, that one knocked that crap right out of me. It was tough. It was really, really tough. The the one live show two weeks ago was just brutal to get through, but I value these so much. Uh, definitely, we toughed it out. I think we did all right. So let's see if we can get the chat on the screen for future viewers. I think we did, and we'll go ahead and get this started, guys. With any luck, one man band here. It's a little bit of juggling, but uh, I got the hang of it so far, I think. I think we'll do pretty good. Let's go. As usual, guys, viewer questions throughout, just throw them in the chat. Hit me up. Uh, if I don't hit you up, then one of the other awesome members of the Make Me community that are here will answer your questions, almost guaranteed. We'll do some tech news tonight, we'll do the viewer challenge for tonight, some 3D printing stuff, a bunch of stuff from the community of makers, hackers, inventors, you name it, anything goes, a bunch of stuff from the shop, some sneak peeks of what you'll see on this channel in the future, tech tip of the week, viewer comments, and that is that. I think we're in good shape. Uh, Zach said he actually got a notification from YouTube. Cool, Zach. Um, you guys probably already know YouTube's absolutely horribly flaky for letting people know when the live shows are on. Uh, I set this one up to be a 24 hour go live, so it should have started showing up in news feeds 24 hours ago, like two seconds before the broadcast. Tom was messaging me, like, no broadcast tonight. But yeah, well, YouTube, as usual, does not spread the word. Hence, I put that calendar on the website for things such as this. Peter is here. Hey, Peter, good to see you. All right, guys, tech news week, tons of it. I think we got more tech news than content this week. So, uh, no astronomers have probably not found the alien megastructure. So, uh, this one's a broad topic. So, uh, as you guys know, the, the SETI and the Kepler Space Telescope and everyone pointing skyward is looking for intelligent life out there. Well, it was really exciting this week. This one, I won't read it. The star identified uh, as KIC 8462852, blah, blah, blah. Long star name. Got everyone excited that uh, really crazy varying light levels from this star, which is truly exciting. I don't think anyone really knows what it is yet um, and kind of I don't think a lot of them care but uh, it got a lot of people revved up which is cool awesome uh, need to see this in some headlines this made mainstream media uh, pretty cool so uh, this one doesn't look like we found life out there but hey cool the Dyson sphere yeah yeah that's what glitch pointed it out that that was what the theory was it was a Dyson sphere and uh, it seems unlikely, but hey, who knows? You never know where this is going to go. And 
David said, I'm just catching, I'm going to try and catch the chat a little bit tonight, guys, because there's some really good input. David said, everyone should jump on YouTube gaming. The notifications arrive right on your phone. You can even sub to Eric on there. I did not know that. Is this a separate app for YouTube? YouTube gaming, like an app on your phone? Uh, that would be really cool if we actually have notifications. That's the biggest weakness of live broadcasting on YouTube. We're finally getting it. No drop frames, no network problem right now. Uh, it should be coming through pretty good, and but it doesn't do any good if people don't know we're live. So, hmm, interesting. Anyway, carry on, guys. Uh, <laughs> for the Canadians out there. This guy is our current prime minister. Yes, we have prime ministers here in Canada and not a president. Well, today is the federal election. If you're Canadian and watching this live and you haven't voted, you shouldn't be watching this. You should get out there and vote. I did. Um, I think we'll see how this goes. And uh, I don't think we'll see this guy in parliament tomorrow. Hmm, kind of hope not. But uh, anyway, Canadian federal election, huge deal. This is a big deal. Uh, we've had conservative government for a long time, so we'll see where that goes. <laughs> Before I even jump into this. Beginner's Tech is here. Awesome. Okay, guys. So federal regulators to require registration for recreational drones. So this is the big news in the United States today. This is from the Department of Transportation, the DOT in the United States. My God, they couldn't have approached this more wrong. That yeah, it's just bad terminology for a bad, bad idea. I'll put myself out there and say this is absolutely asinine. If you guys want to check it out, you can see the press conference on the U.S. Department of Transportation YouTube channel. Uh, it is worth watching. This is a tall order. The DOT has proposed full registration of recreational drones, um, quadcopters, you name it. Uh, couldn't do this more this is just the worst idea ever registration is the worst way to attack this and i will draw a, a very strange parallel in a minute uh i've kind of been through something a little similar here in our country except you guys are gonna have it far worse so dot good luck with this um where are they going to draw the line? So this is uh, my little Hubson quadcopter. It has a camera on it. A lot of people would call it a drone because I can hover in and do video and I can fly this beyond line of sight. Everybody and their brother out of Shenzhen, China is creating these things and shipping them. And even worse, you can make your own quadcopters, tricopters with 3D printer sitting beside me or even easier you can go to the hardware store and buy three sticks and make a tricopter. Full registration to combat these these drone issues in the United States. Unbelievable. So I'll draw a very strange parallel here for you guys. Uh, in 1990, here in Canuck land, uh, our government, in all their wisdom, decided to uh, propose a registry. This registry was for something far, far easier than these. It was for guns. It was for the registration of guns, particularly long guns, rifles. Um, handguns are more, more, almost impossible to deal with here in Canada. They wanted this registry. Well, you would think there's only a handful of manufacturers of these guns. Well, it ended up, uh, started in 1990, stretched about 12 years, uh, was completely useless, cost us billions of dollars. The figures vary. Uh, no way it costs less than $2 billion, and I've seen crazy numbers up. Uh, the government eventually scrapped the program because it was completely impossible and had no function a la a registry. It, it just, like designed to fail right from the start and this was for guns this is something very very much easier than all these coming out of Shenzhen China and uh, ended up costing us taxpayers one crap ton of money good luck with yours Department of Transportation in the US uh, I don't think you could approach this 
any possibly in any worse way than what you have uh, there's so much better ways to attack the problems and there are legit problems but uh, that is my rant I put it here right now guys uh, come back to this video in 10 years if this thing does go through it will sap the American taxpayers billions of dollars and offer no solution that they are going towards so uh, yeah that's my rant guys I try not to go on too many rants on this channel but this one deserves it because I've been down this road with something far far easier to regulate than uh, quadcopters crazy crazy stuff and uh, I'm sure the chat will be blowing up uh, glitch has uh, got lots to say on the topic and yeah I won't even try and keep up on this chat Ugh, registration guys worst way you could attack the problem far better ways uh control um dealing with it lots of other ways but registration gets you nowhere it just wastes money it's just craziness all right guys let's carry on what else we got lots of stuff hackaday super conference guys if you are in the United States, uh, well, you can just check out the Hackaday channel, but if you're in the United States, uh, if you're local to San Francisco or can get there in uh, November, the Hackaday Super Conference is happening. Opens up to the public for tickets, uh, I think after tomorrow, the early bird prices end tomorrow, so I guess it goes public then. And this is where they announce the Hackaday Prize winners as well. Lots of cool speakers, lots of good stuff. Uh, I didn't get accepted as a speaker there, but uh, I, I wish them all the best. I think it'll be a fun conference. Check it out, guys, if you can make it there. So, uh, <laughs> funny on the <laughs> drone topic. Google's latest drones. Uh, so Google registered some uh, UAV aircraft, aka drones. Um, officially registered them, call signs. Not much info on them. Uh, interesting to see Google get into this space. Uh, of course they would. And uh, it'd be interesting to see what they end up doing with them. I would suspect uh, internet service, but geez, you never know with Google. Uh, they're into everything. So uh, if you guys want to look it up, you can find all kinds of info on the FAA website. And this one was Newsy Tech video. This was big news this week, guys. Um, not, not, it's a heavy-hearted news, but it's important. So the uh, MH17 uh, Malaysian Air Flight, uh, the Dutch Safety Board findings came out last week and uh, confirmed down by missile. And if you watch, this one was the PBS News Hour. Lots of coverage on this. Lots of recreations and uh, rebuilding of the front of the aircraft. And it's pretty hard to refute what happened to this this airliner and the, this this amazingly sad situation with the crew and on all, all on board. Uh, it's pretty hard to refute what happened to it. It's uh, check it out, guys. It is worth being uh, up to date on because these are the things that happen, and people need to be held accountable. Uh, I'm really glad to see the investigation come out full transparency, and of course, people are refuting it. So we'll see where that goes. All right, guys, I could quickly check that chat. Tainted camper is here. Hey. And lots of chat on the drone stuff. We'll see where it goes. And I think we're good. Let's go, guys. I try and keep up on the chat as much as I can. All right, guys. What else we got? Virgin Galactic. I love this company. I love where they're headed. Uh, I have no vested interest, not associated. I just love seeing a private entity uh, really pushing the limits. Well, this one's really cool. Meet Launcher One. Uh, great coverage on their channel. Virgin Galactic is getting into the launching of CubeSats with small scale rockets to launch these things into LEO into low Earth orbit. Totally cool. This is a this is a crazy exciting time. Not only is anyone able to make CubeSats like this one. Um, this is just my mock up and my project. Uh, this is a one U CubeSat and anybody can make them and now it's getting easier and easier with the Alana program and now Virgin Galactic getting into the uh, the provisions of launch very very cool neat exciting stuff a uh, brave new world of space exploration coming up I truly believe it we'll see where it goes uh, drones drones and more drones guys if you didn't see this is these videos were 
all over the place. This one is from Battelle Innovations, Battle Innovations, the Drone Defender. So basically, uh, seen them in a few places, a couple of trade shows last week, and they were basically using these spread spectrum uh, jammers to bring down quadcopters, aka drones, uh, in unwanted areas. But um, I have no doubt that this is actually possible, and it has been proven in the past with GPS spoofing and jamming and and you know, the Wi-Fi jamming and everything else that goes with it. So basically, you jam the Wi-Fi, jam the control signal, and also jam the GPS, and the thing has basically no option other than to land. The caution here, guys, is this is insanely illegal. In the United States, this is punishable serious, serious fines and jail time. You Using a jammer of any sort, regardless of what you're using it against, is, is completely illegal on just about every frequency. And I can't believe how many people are jumping on this. And I have seen instructables on how to create them. Basically, it's not that hard to jam the RF spectrum. Uh, you can jam the GPS spectrum. Uh, it's pretty easy with like a hack RF and the Wi-Fi is really easy. And the, these, I, what I fear is people out there are going to go reproduce this. Uh, be warned, this is, this is serious stuff and it gets even worse if you think about it from another angle. Not only is it the FCC will have serious things to say, but if your registration of these things as aircraft like some of them are registered as as aircraft with permitting it is a felony to mess with private aircraft of any form in any way it is serious stuff so uh i, I got a kick out of this when everybody was sharing these videos like crazy this is the worst idea I've seen in a while. Yeah, okay. Um, law enforcement, maybe. Okay, I can see that. Totally cool. But the, the general public gets a hold of this and reproduces it, which they can easily with a basically a Raspberry Pi and a Hack RF. Oh, don't go to jail, people. Don't do it. It's bad news, bears. Uh, tonight in the United States, kind of a big deal. I can't find any live coverage of this, guys. So uh, tonight is actually astronomy night at the White House, which is actually kind of a big deal. And in the bottom of the frame, you can see uh, President Obama uh, some time ago doing um, just some astronomy on the front lawn with various groups. And what I can't find is any live coverage, no live streams of this. So I don't know whether mainstream media will pick it up, but pretty cool. I like seeing um, STEM stuff uh, with government of any form because I think STEM is truly important, hence this channel and hence me talking to you guys. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, if you guys find some live coverage of this, I would love to see it because I think it would, well, it won't get started until shortly after the show, I wouldn't think. And I. I have to wonder how much are they really going to see from the White House lawn. The light pollution there has got to be horrible for astronomy. But eh, eh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. <clears throat> oh, gonna catch a drink here. Glitch uh, going over some of the uh, jamming stuff. Uh, Tom's here. Hey, Tom. And... Yeah, lots of good convo in the chat. Let's carry on, guys. Oops, lost my window. Oh, there we go. We're back in business. Community announcements, guys. As I've mentioned before, the uh, gas sensor project is in the top 10 for the Hackaday Prize. It goes for judging, I believe, October 26th. You can find it on the Hackaday site. Um, if you feel like it, go over and give it a follow. Or please check out the other projects. They're amazing. There's really cool stuff going on at Hackaday. They've done a really good job. Awesome, awesome contest this year. So check it out, guys. Show format, guys. So... There's going to be a few things coming, a little minor changes in this show format for the live show. And what I want to ask you guys is please put in the comments as well as uh, hit me up on G Plus or any of the other socials what you would like to see on this live show. There will be some changes regardless, but I'd love to have your input. What do you think of the current format of the show, the flow of the show, the 
subject matter. Um, I'm going to be changing a little bit, but I'd love to hear what you guys would like to see because this show is ultimately for you guys. So let me know, guys. I want your opinions. Please throw it in the chat right now. All right, guys, what else we got? And lots of... <laughs> Mike tosses marshmallows at Eric. Hey, Mike. Good to see you, Mike. And Brandon said, congrats. Hey, Brandon, thank you. Uh, much appreciated. It's uh, very, very cool. Multi Hobby Man is here. That's a new name I haven't seen before. Hey, a multi hobby man. Community support time, guys. Remember, please consider giving a thumbs up to these videos. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Share them out on social. It really, really helps. If you can find yourself in a position where you can spare a buck, please consider checking out my Patreon campaign below. You can pledge a dollar, you get some access to some behind the scenes videos, and it really helps this channel. I put every dime back into the channel as with the AdSense income, so it really helps out. Thank you to my new Patreon supporters and all my existing supporters. You guys make this channel work. You guys are, are what are paying for the bandwidth for the internet right now. Like the ability, I had to pay extra to do these live shows, which is a total crock with my ISP. But hey, welcome to Canuck Land. Thank you to all you Patreon patrons. It really makes a difference and makes this show possible, as well as all the other videos. From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. Hamrad88, can you have a guest on your shows? Absolutely. I would love to have guests on the shows, Tom. And uh, I'll touch on it in a minute. I, oh, Actually, I'll, I'll say right now, one of the goals going forward is to get some guests on the show. And uh, absolutely, that is in the works. The problem is the scheduling of said guests and finding people who can make it and finding people that you guys want to see. So... Throw them in the chat. Any ideas you guys have? I had one in that we'll talk on in just a moment. And I'm going to have to catch up on some of these. Yeah, I'll have to catch up on some of these later. Eduardo is here. Hey, Eduardo. And good stuff. Let's go. Got it. I'm in trouble with that button tonight, guys. No end of troubles. Viewer challenge this week, guys. Every week, I want to see what you guys are making. Hit me up on any of the social medias. The G Plus community link down below is the best for sharing your projects because then everyone can see it right away. But hit me up on any of the socials. You can find them all in the uh, top left-hand corner of the makeme.org website. There's the About tab, and you can find all the social medias that I use there. And I am active on all of them. Not to... Uh, not everyday crazy stuff, but I am. I check them all. Harry, who is here with us tonight, uh, Halloween mailbag. He shared with us on the on the G Plus community. Totally cool. Did a cool project. I saw it linked from Hackaday as well. Very very cool. I think. Pretty sure it was this one. Um, anyway, uh, lots of cool stuff. Check out Harry's video. Harry also shared with us uh, a link, and this these are all on the G Plus page. Uh, this was on Hackaday, but it was a it, it, itsy bitsy teeny weeny 3D printed RC truck, and uh, totally cool. A really neat video. A little tiny RC vehicle, really well done. Neat to see. So uh, check it out, guys. And uh, Ken shared with us uh, his Sun Tracker. Very, very cool little project. And uh, I didn't get a chance to check out the full video. I got yanked away uh, as soon as I started watching it. So uh, I only caught a few seconds of it. It looked totally neat. I love uh, solar trackers and that sort of thing. I'm a little partial to them. So yeah, cool. Thanks, Ken. And Harry also shared, uh, this one was more directed at Jim Connor, but totally cool video. What's inside the Honeywell 3-axis compass? Uh, neat to see. Really, really neat. Love seeing stuff uh, like this. Uh, love seeing people share it in the group. Very, very cool. And no doubt other people will find it of interest. Very neat. Nice. Um, oof, I missed all kinds of chat. Chat's busy tonight. Very cool. Um, multi hobby man it's normal to have a wall full of hanging half finished rc aircraft projects yeah my basement's bad for that right now <laughs> really bad oh <laughs> uh, well one of these days i'll get some of them done it'll be cool i swear 
from the community guys tons of stuff from the community and makers hackers engineers inventors artists ham radio enthusiasts everything goes here guys uh ev blog goes without saying i think everyone here is uh, probably subscribed to dave but i wanted to throw this in just because of the reminder that this week is the big back to the future anniversary of sorts so uh you got a cool the out of time license plate and uh let me know guys in the chat are you guys doing anything crazy this week for the big back to the future anniversary i, I don't know of anything in my area and uh I, I like the movies i'd love to maybe watch them again sometime should I don't think it's going to work out this week for me, but let me know if you guys are doing anything cool. I know a lot of people have things planned. It's a big deal, so let me know. David Watts shared his 2 degrees of freeze freedom pan and tilt with the MG995 servos. I love these uh, these pan tilt modules. I have them on uh, my big RC aircraft, my big uh, search and rescue style aircraft for tilting my camera around, but it's only micros. Uh, I use these MG995 servos in my uh, InMove robotic arm. Uh, I think they're great. They're cheap. They they can burn out, but they work awesome. So check out David's video on the uh, on the pan and tilt if you're into such things. I wanted to share this one specifically in case anyone missed it because I truly I don't always watch all of Dave Jones's videos, but. Anytime there's a repair video, I, I always try and watch it from start to finish. This is a 30 minute repair video of a Fluke 196 scope meter, which I've used in my career numerous times. Awesome, awesome scope meter. And uh, he goes through the troubleshooting process of a bad display. Um, I coined a phrase a long time ago that uh, troubleshooting can't be taught, but it can be learned. And uh, I've used this a lot in the guys I've trained in my, my professional life and I truly believe that you can't just teach someone how to troubleshoot but we learn how to do it by watching others and being in the situation and watching Dave is a very good way of doing it because he works very methodically and I really resonated with it. These videos are awesome for just real good entertainment value but good to learn things to watch for basically how to bend and pry and poke and prod uh, that's the best way for electronics repair but check it out guys if you didn't see the video you want to watch that one what have we got in the chat guys uh, oh I missed too much where is my flying car that's a good question where is my flying car I want to know all right, guys, I'm not going to catch up on that. Let's go. AVE or Arduino versus Evil, simple DIY sprinkler winterizing. Yep, I won't even, I think everyone here pretty much is subscribed to the AVE channel. If you're not, yeah, you probably should be. It puts out some cool stuff. Andreas, so this is a channel that I featured last week. Andreas Spice, Spice, oh, I should really ask him how to pronounce that. Uh, 3D printing tip. Uh, this is a really good video. It wasn't just one printing tip. It's a 12-minute video, and he goes over a lot of... He designs all his own stuff in, in CAD. Uh, I think it's in SolidWorks by the look of it. And uh, goes through a little bit of the process and a little bit of the things he's made and some of the tips and tricks. Really, really cool stuff. Definitely uh, a new channel starting out. It's got 218 subscribers. Definitely, uh, I'm subscribed now. Truly enjoy his video. Some stuff flight test uh and if channel if you're into rc uh planes the, the flight test guys need no introduction they do an awesome job this is a plane i've been really looking forward to the ft explorer i spotted this plane in the background of videos many months ago and immediately i knew it, it's a winner it, it will be it's a uh, a high wing design with polyhedral in the wings, which mean the wings are stepped um, in two steps, and polyhedral gives you huge stability in these uh, in these aircraft. Uh, basically, like a powered glider with the pusher prop. And uh, you guys have seen I have two aircraft, very very similar design of this. Uh, this thing's made with foam board. Plans are free. I can't wait to build one. Cheers flight test crew, you've done a hell of a job. 21,000 views at the time I took this snapshot, and I'm sure there'll be way more. They do a great job. Awesome, awesome stuff. One of my favorite channels. 
Uh, David said, another suggestion, maybe you can have an instant message thing for the mods so they can make sure you see the questions from the chat you might miss. That's a great suggestion, David. Um, it hasn't been a problem traditionally, but tonight, I'll be honest, I've missed a good portion of the chat. I can usually keep up pretty well, but not tonight. So, um, as we get more viewers, yeah, I think that's a great idea. Good stuff. Appreciate the input. And some comments on flight tests. Glitch said it looks like it might be a lot better starter than the Versa. Absolutely, Glitch. There's no question that would be way better than the Versa. The Versa is not a good trainer aircraft, but it, for the price of them, they work. You can learn on them, but this this one would be leagues ahead. Um, it would probably be their best trainer yet, I would say, just by looking at the design. Uh, I think it'll be awesome. Darren is here. Darren, hey. Glitch said, just tagged you on Twitter for the NASA live stream and the White House lawn event. Hey, thank you. Um, cool. I might want to check that out after. All right, guys. M.I. Sperry, another channel I subscribe to. He does really long format videos, and this one was an automated herb garden, um, the mechanical side of it. And then he also did another video this week on the Arduino code. This is it. These are long videos, guys. This is 34 minutes long. Uh, I'll admit I do fast forward some of the chunks of it because I, uh, who has time for a 34 minute video? But it's totally worth being a subscriber to his channel. He does, he puts a huge amount of work into it and the, his knowledge and his uh, coding ability is just awesome. The, the code stuff he shares and uh, I forget, I think he was maybe programmer in daytime career I forget I got talking to him um, offline one day and uh, yeah totally totally cool channel check it out guys uh, this one I'm totally stealing some of the ideas and the interrupt structure that he used in the Arduino code for the sprinkler system um, pretty neat you can use it in lots of applications love when people share this stuff you can always get something out of it Educates.com, a Flappy Bird game clone with a 1.8 inch color TFT. These 1.8 inch TFTs are a really, really cool display. And I have one of them and haven't done much with it. And I love seeing these kind of videos come out because I can easily recreate the project. I'm pretty sure he posts the code. Um, nearly positive of that. Awesome channel anyway. I love educates.com. Uh, every week some cool stuff to help people out in, uh, in the electronics and Arduino stuff. And could you please make a video relay controlled by Raspberry Pi on an iOS app? Create your own app to control it. Great work. Thanks, Mohammed. Um, yeah, I won't be developing an iOS app stuff. I have developed Android apps in the past, and uh, I do still have some on uh, Google Play. And they still make a couple of bucks here and there, but um, not likely going to develop an iOS app. Sorry, it uh, won't happen on this channel anytime soon. Uh, I just don't have the time to get into dealing with that. Uh, I would love to try, though, one of these days. And uh, David said those ST7735 can be tricky. Yes, uh, mine kicked my butt. Um, I can't remember whether... Was it Leroy here? Someone posted the starter code for these TFT displays for me in the G Plus community, and I had wrote mine off as I gave up long ago. It came with a little mini CD-ROM from eBay, which of course that didn't work. Programming offline, libraries didn't work, blah, blah, blah. Well, Leroy, I'm pretty sure it was him. Someone here handed me over like turnkey code. It worked awesome. And now I think there's potential in that display. It's just getting over that initial hurdle. Again, the community here makes it so much easier. Totally cool. All right, guys, let's see what else we got. Electronics Basics, so um, from Great Scott. This channel, uh, if you're not subscribed to the Great Scott channel, you should be. Uh, no matter what, s what stage you are in electronics or in your hobby or career, there's always something good. He puts an incredibly large amount of effort into his videos. It reflects in his subscriber count at 125,000 subscribers. They're there for a reason. They're awesome videos. I didn't think watching a video on resistors would be that much 
interesting to me truthfully i would normally just skip over it if it wasn't by this channel and i'm glad i didn't he did an awesome job totally cool stuff in there um he covers like right into uh, the behavior of certain resistors in AC circuits and how the inductive reactance changes and like really advanced stuff to really really basic stuff and anyone can get something out of them well done I love these channels on YouTube I really do guys so uh, the NASA channel um, if you're not subscribed to the NASA channel I think you should be um, journey to Mars uh, this was the basically an update this week on it's this week in nasa um tons of great coverage uh, i won't even go into it because they cover lots of stuff on their channel in these four minute videos and the production quality finally someone's getting it they're putting out these short four minute videos with high production quality not garbage not stitched together as an afterthought you can tell that they're attempting to engage the world because when was the last time you saw nasa in mainstream media it doesn't happen very often unless there's an accident or something so uh i'm, I'm really happy to see these videos that are engaging and fun to watch and love to see the background info on them um, dear NASA, if you ever see this, please start a new channel with the crazy tech stuff in the background, like uh, living in the back of the room of uh, when the engineers are hashing out something crazy. I'd love to see that. But uh, good job, NASA. You've done great. This is one that I missed. So this is also this is from NASA JPL channel, the NASA Jet Propulsion Labor Laboratory. This this was published some time ago this summer. Totally missed it. First interplanetary CubeSat mission. I didn't know about this. Two CubeSats are gonna hitch a ride on next March, I believe, is the next uh, Mar uh, Mars landing. Two CubeSats are going uh, hitchhiking on the rocket and going to go out and beam some of the info back. And I think they're going to get rid of a little bit of their seven minutes of hell of uh, of calm blackout by maybe using these as repeaters. And I don't know the, all the rest of the purpose, but CubeSats, hey, sending them to Mars now. And this is from NASA doing this. Totally neat. Love it. Love seeing this stuff, guys. And the Martian vehicle presentation was great as well. Tons of, I, I, w I couldn't even pick out all the good coverage of the NASA videos this week. That was just, I, I stopped because I had like five of them in the playlist to show you guys because they're really, they stepped up their game so much. They're, they're doing a stellar job at these, at the YouTube format. Show me the cool stuff. Make it interesting, good good videography. I could rant about that all day. I love seeing uh, high quality videos um, when essentially, like they're not making money from it. They're, they're putting it out there for public awareness. It's awesome, it's good stuff. And Thurk has to go, cheers Thurk. All right guys, let's carry on. Rant about NASA all day long. Here's another channel I can rant about all day long. I had some videos in the playlist from Adafruit. I took them out and I decided I'm going to show you the screenshot of just some of the videos recently. If you're not subscribed to Adafruit, you should be amazing supplier of electronics parts, but also content. This is just one week. You're looking at 12 videos roughly or more per week that they're turning out and it's great content. They do an awesome job. On that note, we were talking earlier about getting some guests on the show. I did attempt to get Adafruit to join the show tonight. Uh, I talked to Phil this morning, um, and uh, they're just they're slammed. They're too busy. So, uh, guest speakers on the show, yes, guys, that's what I want to do. And I couldn't think of anyone better than to ask Phil if uh, he or any of the other staff or Lady Ada would be free and. Turned out they weren't. Uh, he sends his best. Thanks, Phil, for uh, getting back to me and chatting this morning. But uh, maybe we'll have him on the show again. I'd love to hear where they're headed with the Adafruit company. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, guys. Um, disclaimer, I just really love what they're doing. And uh, guys, you got to check out their website. On that note, 
they have a blog every day. It's kind of similar format to the Hackaday blog. Uh, cool, cool tech stuff every day on their site. And today I caught this, the Gortobot. Uh, this thing, immediately I was interested. So basically it's a small uh, autonomous sailboat. And I thought, geez, that's kind of neat. And I tried to link back to his website. The links were broken at the time, but what I could link to was where this thing is currently. So it is already at sea. The, this small little autonomous sailboat is actually past the continental shelf and out into the Atlantic. Totally cool. So the thing is headed for Europe, hopefully. Uh, very cool. Check out the adafruit.com website. Go to the blog and you will find it posted today. A uh, pretty neat little project. There's a cool little YouTube video on it. thought it was great. Uh, definitely, I, I like autonomous robots and stuff. Very, very cool. Uh, Sasquatch said Adafruit is too expensive. Oh, that's a relative term. Um, definitely anything onshore in North America can be um, slightly pricier in, uh, than some of the, the Chinese stuff, but uh, you'll never have a problem with them. So it's it's a trade-off. Uh, some stuff you just can't get anywhere, but they, the stuff that Lady Ada sources is just amazing. But uh, yeah, to each their own. Uh, I, I'm a fan of all suppliers. I don't like to pick and choose for price. I, I try and support everyone. And I definitely try and support Adafruit because they directly support us. Yeah, uh, tons of, the, you gotta check out the learning system. Their, uh, their tutorials are just crazy that alone demands support okay guys from the shop guys uh i put out a video on friday uh mailbag this was a lot of cool stuff that i got related to health um some of it and uh you can tell there'll be some projects coming up uh, i got a pulse oximeter and some non-contact infrared thermometers i had a plan for a project for the without borders project and whereby um, some basic health monitoring for cheap and those components were dirt cheap so hopefully we can hack them and make them work for upcoming it'd be midwinter before we get that project on the go because i've got too many other ones and cool sneak peek guys this is upcoming on the channel Fox 1A amateur radio satellite, I mentioned it last week, the Fox 1A AMSAT cube satellite, same size as this again, it's a 1U CubeSat, went up, um, I believe it was launched a week and a half ago. Uh, I was able to go out and catch a pass, actually two passes. I was able to do some video. If you're into amateur radio, you can see what the Fox 1A satellite sounds like. It's uh, much like every other FM downlink, but totally cool to walk outside uh, at the exact moment that this thing crests the horizon and hear people bouncing their, uh, their uh, ham radio off of this and acting as a repeater and just yakking back and forth. Pretty cool stuff. I like doing that. And the <laughs> this, uh, theme of this week is the satellites, apparently. Uh, the Arduino DIY satellite. So that is this thing sitting right here. I did do some work. Ooh, there it is. Uh, I did do some work on this. And um, last we did uh, RTTY uh, downlink uh, for the telemetry. And then we did uh, CW Morse code downlink. Well, now since I worked with the Arduino gas sensor grenade project, I have now made a voice, a human voice downlink for the telemetry from this. And uh, we'll maybe perfect that a little bit and then work in getting some multiple Arduinos bust together and maybe some custom PCBs and recreate a satellite right here at home. Uh, it's a fun project. It's one that I've just, I've been excited to do for a lime. So I'm happy to get back to it. And I think we're good. Let's go guys. What else we got? Where are we for time? Ooh, we're running a little low, but we're all right. Tech tip of the week, guys. So, guys, there's lots of guys here that are building projects. Uh, lots of people that watch this channel are into building or making or have things to share. Um, I would, my, my advice is that you guys get out there and share your projects however you feel that you can. 
um, whether you just post a, a picture and post some info in G+, or whether you have some time and you can post up in Instructables. But the one, I have to recommend this, guys. I think all of you awesome makers out there should just get your cell phone out and take a couple of videos and upload them to YouTube. Uh, I'm not advocating YouTube as the end-all be-all, but it's an awesome place for us to share how to make these things and allow other people to recreate our work. Uh, admittedly, YouTube does take a little bit of a thick skin sometimes, but for basic, just take a video of things and throw it up. Uh, I truly believe you, that as a community, we can. you guys have a ton of stuff to share. And uh, I, I really enjoy it, obviously, or I wouldn't be here doing this. But I think others can really, really benefit from this. And uh, just get out there and share some stuff. And I have a bit of a case study in this. This is not um, self-propaganda or anything, but this is the basic video I did on my 3D printer nozzle clogs. And this video is at 44,000 views, one of the higher views that I have. But the thing I wanted to show, 352 thumbs up, nine thumbs down on this. So basically, people have found this useful and I have no doubt it probably helps some people get through a jam and deal with a, a 3D printer nozzle issue. It makes me happy that others can, can benefit from, the video didn't take that long to do. It's it, shot on my crappy cell phone uh, another one this one is a better example this is a video I did on the CH340 serial chip driver issue I ran into on Arduino I, I, I ran into the fact that it wasn't the it, it wasn't the same chipset the dreaded FTDI we we're all used to and I just made a quick video and threw it up nothing beyond info I found online it told me go find a different driver download it I threw this up it's got whatever 13,000 views whatever but the cool 238 thumbs up on the thing which and every day I get thank yous on this video it it tells me that I truly made a difference for some people you guys can do this too uh, it, this crappy cell phone camera I I can't advocate this enough I think people should really consider sharing as much knowledge as they can however whatever platform works for you and yeah, yeah. I, uh, video is honestly the uh, biggest bang for the buck for learning. You can completely recreate something that someone has done if they have a good shot of video and some audio. You can just recreate it in a heartbeat, whereas reading it from a book without diagrams and stuff, it's going to take a heck of a lot longer. So uh, I think it's a great platform, and I love sharing this stuff. So um, I, some of you out there, I'm preaching to the choir. A lot of people in here have youtube channels of their own as usual viewer comments this is gonna this isn't really a viewer comment but i'd like to share this because i just advocated doing a youtube channel well if you do get into the tech space you will get eventually you will get comments like this this is a private message this is so and so from banggood.com i'm here to invite you to establish cooperation blah 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 basically we'll send you a free sample um these will come guys and it's not i won't advocate either way i do accept some of them only if they uh, meet certain criteria for the channel they have to know that i'm going to be totally brutally honest and it has to fit into the channel but the moral of this story is to watch out for things such as this if you have a youtube channel um, they have a, a nifty little profile picture of a cat with glasses and their username was nothing like the company so beware guys um, in this case this was the real deal the uh, this person was from that company and i have worked with them in the past and they're going to send a couple of more um, cool stuff that I need for this channel that we'll do some reviews on, but um, be wary that uh, I've run into twice now whereby I said, okay, uh, contact me from a, your company's email address and crickets, or uh, in one case, they, they were very almost refusing to do so. Like, well, I'm not giving you my personal info. Uh, you probably aren't who you say you are. Um, I wouldn't have thought that people would be approaching with scams offering free stuff 
it's i'm quite confident it is happening guys so just be uh, buyer beware um uh, feel free to engage with some of these companies but just be careful with your personal info that is all i have to say on that and oh david said don't forget the partnership emails oh don't even get me started on those guys if you do a youtube channel if you already have one you've seen dozens and dozens of partnership requests if you don't have a youtube channel and you open one be very wary of all of these people approaching you with partnerships um, they'll try to get you into a network and in my opinion 99.99 percent of them are scams and they are not what you need uh, i am not a member of any partnership or network at all uh, i am a standalone youtube partner i have never been affiliated with any of them and i don't want to be so uh, beware of those david brings up a good point those are uh, i think you can get, actually get yourself into some pretty good trouble with some of those but uh you can get into some some deals that are very hard to get out of and ken said youtube has an icon for the election in the upper left just noticed hmm. I didn't know that. I have to check that out. Mr. Ed Tokes. Hi. And Butch said, if a picture is worth a thousand words, you get 30 frames per second. Awesome. <laughs> Very good. Ashley is here. Hey, Ashley. Uh, we're just going to shut things down here. Um, I'm caught up with the chat. I'll catch up with as much of the chat as I can later. Ah, David brings up a good point until Adafruit starts a YouTube network. That is an interesting comment, David. So, oh, oh I should have made a slide on it. So, uh, we've got two, two minutes here. I got contacted by an individual for a network option just yesterday or the day before. And it was as a comment on one of my videos, which is very strange. And it actually started out with my name and uh, so, um, a quick line indicating that this person had actually watched one of my videos but not the one they commented on and it was an offer to join a, um, a small new network and I checked them out and it, they have their own channel and they're forming their own network and it actually seemed legit and the concept was core network only for each other supporting each other blah 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 um, I declined but it was the the only time so far that I've actually been tempted to even look into it. I, I clicked to their channel, which is more than I ever do. So um, if Adafruit ever opened a, a collaboration of any form, I, I would be the first to investigate that. Totally would. Yeah, I think they'd be great. And Glitch said, don't forget IRC if you want to chat after the show. Yeah, guys, um, if you guys want to chat after, slide over to the IRC channel. Go to the makeme.org website, top right-hand side. You can find the IRC channel, and I will try and join you guys momentarily uh, a little bit after the show for a few minutes. Uh, a little slammed after. I've got to go right after 8 o'clock, but we will try. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for tonight. Closing thoughts nothing deep nothing crazy tonight i wanted to share uh more or less twitter person of the day so if you're not uh, if you're on twitter you should be following uh father robert balliser and uh you would know him from lots of shows but this tweet he did earlier today grace and forgiveness is offered to those who will receive it except the kid who pulled the fire alarm this morning you're going to hell i thought that was funny as heck coming from him lighter side of the internet guys uh <sighs> once in a while don't think don't take things so serious best of luck in all your electronics ventures this week anything you build anything that you're up to in life i hope you have a great week we will talk to you next monday and uh have a good weekend next weekend i will try and do a live periscope broadcast later this week as well as you can catch me on the socials so uh catch me there and i'll try and stop into the irc after the show cheers guys have a great week